<laughs> Welcome back to Suncoast View. We're going to join Chef John in the kitchen from Yoder's. And Chef, we think of pies, of course, when we hear Yoder's, but there's so much more going on now. Tell us about all the different little shops that you've set up. Sure, sure. From uh, the one end of the village, we have uh, a deli. We have, uh, you can get all sorts of sliced meats from Amish uh, purveyors. Mm -hmm. And then a little further down, we've got produce. We try to keep it all as local as possible. Of course, not everything's in season year round, but right. we do keep it pretty well stocked. Uh, then we've got the restaurant, and we've got a gift shop that you can get. We try to keep uh, handmade local items, a little bit of both, but you know. Try to keep it as, as local and Amish as possible. Okay, and a great way to support the local community. We're going to join you for scalloped potatoes and ham coming up. Yeah. Sounds great. Thank you. Well, of course, we love our dogs here on the Sun Coast, especially our mixed breeds. Many of us have mixed breed dogs. But we always kind of wonder what our mutt is made of. So here to give us more information, that is Mark Chambord from Canine Corral in Sarasota. And, Mark, it's certainly fun to know what the dogs are made of, but it can also be very, very important. So tell us how this works when you want to know what the dog is made up of. Well, they have these DNA kits that are really, really kind of cool, and it, uh, they cost about $75. We have them in our store, and uh, it's a simple process, and within three weeks, you can find out exactly what, or what they detected the breeds out of about 100, or I'm sorry, out of about 400 breeds. It used wow. to be like there were only about 100, but wow. now they have all the AKC breeds and some more also that are included in their, their, their database. And why, why is it important that? to know? Well, um, you know, sev once we, we really just want to know. They look mm -hmm. like this, they look like that, and mm -hmm. we kind of guess. But only 25% of the vets uh, and uh, uh, kennel staff really actually know uh, what they are. So they guess it right 25% of the time. Oh, yeah, that's not but good. you know, there's health issues. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have a, a large breed, there could be hip dysplasia issues, right. small dogs with the teeth, bulldogs with the eyes. Those are all things like, for instance, with the teeth, you can take care of the teeth more because you don't want them, they'll deteriorate faster. Mm -hmm. Right. You brought us some pictures of dogs, and I know a lot of it is trying to figure oh. out what characteristics you what see. Is that That's now? Harley. That's Harley. Harley. Hi, Harley. Harley. What Harley? Well, what do you think she you looks like? A little bit bull in there. A little boxer. Yeah, see, me. we have four yeah. answers. We're not experts. All right, is this the ladies? same dog right here? No, but it, they're very, very close. Okay. Australian? That's an Australian Shepherd wow. and an American Staffordshire Terrier. I would not wow. Have Oh, never picked either. that. Yeah. Let's okay. see another one. All right, Aww. that's Piper. Piper is adorable little puppy. Uh, she came Greyhound. to... Greyhound. German Shepherd. Uh, uh, Doberman. Terrier. Let's see what it is. Rottweiler okay. Dachshund. That Rappen is a You're not very good at this. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, oh. oh. That's Mickey. Oh. Oh, Mickey is an adorable, Your adorable dog. Mickey He's got is part such... giraffe with that tongue. I know. I say, what do you think? There's He's always something big yellow. on Mickey. Yellow. Well, what, what is yellow. Mickey? Let's go look. Uh, a shepherd. Um, it's going to be that little yeah. short leg. Chow, chow Chow and Pointer. Oh, wow. oh, my goodness. She's a little one, too. Yep. Aww. That's Sadie. Sadie is also one of our customers that come. These are all dogs that Look come at to the, the Canyon chest Corral. Sadie. Yeah. That might be a boxer. Got like Black a... nose mask on the front. That's a boxer, a chow chow, and oh, German yeah. shepherd. Yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. good, yeah. Stephanie. Yeah. Kaching one. That is yeah. my Toby that I brought oh, on. Yeah. Yeah. German shepherd. Yeah, I agree with that. Toby's and a got boxer. some German. Mm. No. no. What's <laughs> Australian cattle dog and Canaan dog, which that's is why from so Israel. Smart. Both oh. are herding dogs. Yeah. Both are herding dogs. And tell us about the friend that's here today hey. because he he's enjoying very their well relaxed. Well, so well this is Harpo. Now, Hi, Harpo. Harpo is, um, down, I did a segment a couple months ago Hi. about pet trust. So Harpo's mother is very ill, so I'm actually oh. taking care of Harpo, and I have an agreement Here to actually... Um, keep them or adopt them out depending upon the situation he's but so sweet i'm not going to adopt him out because i'm waiting for mom to say he's coming home oh that's so exactly right so beth i want right. to hear those words out of you okay now, so with harpo you said that we can go ahead and actually do one of the tests yeah we open it up there and this is the whole kit and you take a swab okay and you want to get it between the cheek and the gum, and Harpo you want to says, roll it really? for about 15 seconds. So it doesn't hurt He's the dog. He's trying to eat it. No. Aww. So it's pain free. And there's one, and then you put them in there, and they have okay. to air dry. All right, so then, then you, you do, do it again. Do and it I again. like to do it. Don't let them eat 
uh, about two to four hours because I don't want you thinking that your DNA came back as a, a duck a or a chicken or something. <laughs> <laughs> that is a very good point. But this shows how easy the test is. It's very simple. And like I said, uh, we dry. sell them for... The, for under $75, you can know what your dog is. You fold it up, it's already pre-stamped, you send it in the mail, Aww. then you go online and register it, and then you can keep track as to where it is in the process. That goes in the mail and you're all set. Okay, nice. so we're not real good at figuring out breeds, yes. we've learned, but <laughs> let's take a look at Harpo. And girls, what do you think, I think Harpo he, is? He's a bulldog based on I his chest. I think he's a boxer. I think he's a boxer. I think he's he a like beagle a big pit. Bu bulldog chest. I'm going to go with a little pet. Okay, so Mark, you actually did this as we look at Harpo and sent it away. Sent it away. And what and did we learn da, Harpo da, da, da. is? I got the results. He, he is. American Staffordshire Terrier okay. mixed with a boxer oh, and a bulldog. I knew oh, wow. Okay. Bulldog. And that helps us know what medical issues those breeds are prone Temperament. to. Temperament. Uh, you know, it could be a behavior. Size. Is the dog a guarding dog? Is mm -hmm. it a herding dog in the case of my dog? There's also ordinances where you can't have certain dogs or certain breeds within in a city. Yeah. Well, in an apartment. Right. Miami uh, has out. Um, outlawed the pit bull. Mm -hmm. So if you had a test, what I think is really cool is what you brought up, the apartments. Some apartment complexes are requiring that your dog provide a DNA sample oh, wow. oh so that when that's they find poop that's not picked up, you right. can get fined. They you can, can send it off. Oh, great they, idea. They can check the poop <laughs> offenders. Now, so once I go through the DNA and send it away, tell us exactly what you get back in the mail that Bobeth is holding. Bobeth has a certificate, says that it's a certificate of authenticity and it says the owner, Harpo, what date it was done. And we've actually done and the, the same lines. kit on two, mm -hmm. on two kits on one dog just to see if they were reliable. And oh. they were very, very close. Hey, that, that is very interesting. So they're not, they're not just picking a breed and saying, oh, that looks like that. And like you said, like uh, uh, the Labradoodle. You right. got the curly hair, you got the Different smooth hair. Different kinds of hair. It's going to be a wave because it's going to pick up a gene from because a wave. we are all so mixed together. You lose anyway. it quick. So, yeah. All right, well, thank you so I much. Am. If so you want to know more want to know. about identifying do adults, dog right? breeds, <laughs> yep, you could go to K9 Corral in Sarasota. Find that at K9CorralSRQ.com. So very interesting, Mark. We appreciate that. I always love being We don't want to wake him up. No, yeah, Harpo's apparently quite relaxed. He enjoyed the process. Coming up, Mickey's going to give us the process on how to keep looking young. Go hug your dog.